-hmm. All right, today we are going to make a pumpkin spice smoothie. Now, what you need, first of all, is a measuring cup. Then you need a pumpkin. You put the pumpkin on the measuring cup and, uh, oh, then you take your hammer and you, you... Hey, what are you doing? What? Well, I'm going to make a smoothie. You just, you... Dad? You just start hitting it? No. Oh, no. Come on now. That was really bad acting, wasn't it? Uh, pumpkin spice smoothie actually does not have any pumpkin in it, believe it or not. But uh, I'll show you what it does have in it. It is another way to get superfoods into your diet. You will need a Vitamix blender. We're big fans of the Vitamix blenders. Let me plug this thing in a while. Okay. It has, the main ingredients are turmeric. Like that. Real, real good stuff. You combine this with a little bit of just regular black pepper, uh, a lot less of this than, than this, and it creates a very, very powerful antidepressant. And it's healthy antidepressant, not like the junk that's in the pharmaceuticals. All right, um, very, very good. Actually, I heard uh, Dr. Mike Vanderschelt in the one time, he's a natural, nutritional type of doctor, chiropractor out in California, and he actually said that, it, that uh, turmeric and black pepper create curcumin, and it's as powerful as Prozac. So, uh, but you have turmeric, black pepper, this is camu camu berry powder, Right there, second, I think it's the second highest source of vitamin C in the world. Uh, real good stuff. Ground cinnamon. It's best if you can get the uh, Indian type of ground cinnamon, this cinnamon, but this still works for our purposes. And let me get some out of here. Some uh, plain organic uh, whole milk yogurt is what we like to use. Real good stuff. If you want to get me a spoon, Oliver? I'm get my big helper here. The, the, yep. Just get me one of the regular, like, dad and mom's type of spoons. Yeah, there you go. And I'll show you the other secret ingredient. You're not seeing any pumpkin yet. So, okay, give me the spoon. All right, now, what you do is... Oh, I need the... Um, Measuring spoons here. Let me let me get that real quick. Yeah, there's a quarter teaspoon. Because you do need a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So you just it's no no particular order, but you take a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Don't want it to be heaping or anything, just a regular level quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Drop it in. Then you want to just, it's kind of easy to remember from here. All you do from here is you take um, a tablespoon. I usually like to use just kind of a heaping tablespoon of turmeric. Put that in. And then some, same thing of Camu Camu powder. Drop it in. And then your cinnamon. Again, you're going to use a tablespoon of cinnamon. Yeah, come on here. I like that. Don't have to be exact amounts. Tablespoon of each. And then you put in some yogurt. Some of your yogurt. Just push that, put some of that right in there. Okay. About, you know, maybe uh, a cup, a cup and a half, something like that. I don't really have that measured out, but I uh, don't think we have any in here right now. No, we don't. Another thing that you can put in it, which we've done in the past, is we'll, we'll put uh, um, goji berries in it. That's another good one that you can put in. And now for the top secret ingredient in the freezer. Don't give it away. We have chopped up frozen bananas. Okay, 
Now, I'm not going to make a video of how to cut up or chop up bananas like this, okay? Uh, it's not really rocket science. But just put the uh, bananas in there. Normally I use my fingers, but I'm trying to be all hygienic and clean and all that stuff here for the video. Don't want to offend anybody. Because you know I'm not... What are you laughing at? I'm, I'm, I'm all about not offending people. You know, that's, that's me. You know, if, if there's a non-offensive preacher online, it's definitely me. I still hear laughing. I, I don't appreciate that very much. I do appreciate it a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I tried to be non-offensive there for a little while, but... My hands are clean. Can I throw the ingredients in? You want to put some bananas in? Okay. We're going to have our assistant come up here. Come on up. I've got my double self. Just, just, just go ahead and put these in there. No, no, no. Just stay off the table. Stay off the table. Put those in there, okay? And, uh... We like to use hearing protection when we're using the Vitamix because it is—it does get pretty loud. And uh, they've—I've you know, heard it said that the, the one thing it doesn't come back is your hearing if you lose your hearing. Um, and I know that there are some people that would argue that and say, well, actually, there's some nutritional methods and means and whatever. But if that's true, I haven't done any kind of research or experimentation on that. If it's true, it still is best just to protect your ears. Um, you know, working in, in heavy industry there after high school, building, you know, basically 45 to 50 foot boats, there's a lot of, you know, grinders and a lot of loud machinery and everything else. And then, you know, worked in logging a little bit, worked in wood turning, had a wood shop, worked as a cabinet maker a little bit. So I've been around the, the heavy machinery and the loud noises and the men that are so tough that they don't wear hearing protection. And then I've seen the older men in that same industry, go, you know, you come up and you say, hey, the boss needs to see it. Huh? You got to speak up. My, my hearing's not too good, you know. And, uh, yeah. It only takes a minute to put on hearing protection. Um, but if you lose your hearing, you're going to regret it for a lifetime. So, there you go. Hearing protection on. I'm going to get mine on. If you want to pause the video, we'll be back and we'll grind this up. All right, hearing protection's on, safety first. Put the lid on, like that, up on there. You wanna turn it on? Go ahead, turn it on, and on. See, when it slows down, you can hear there's still some frozen bananas in there that haven't been blended up yet. Let me just stop it for a minute. You can also see some of the cinnamon is sticking to the sides there and things. So, just take the lid off. Just get down in there and just scrape that all off. Make sure it's everything stirred up and blended together really good. Not a very difficult recipe, and of course, the the longer you let it it turn around and things, the smoother it's going to be.
Okay. Dad. Get back on there and finish up. Take off your hearing protection. You can leave yours on since you're the camera lady. There's a new title that you're not going to hear in the news media. Camera lady. Dad, camera person. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, now we're going to go green. See? I'm going green. Uh, can I come up on the Bible? If you want to get in there and and uh, here, step back, please. You can see. I can't really get the light here. Can you see it? It literally looks like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And the taste is really, really good. You want to taste it? We forgot to pray first. Ooh. Yep, we forgot to pray. All right. We'll pray quick. Dear Heavenly Father, I do thank you for this smoothie, and I do pray that you would bless it and sanctify it and cleanse it. And um, thank you for Oliver and for all the help that he is to us. And, and I just pray, Lord, for all the viewers out there that they would truly seek to find nutrition as a means of curing disease and, and sickness, and, and of course, prayer as well. And if anybody doesn't know you as their Savior, I pray that they would um, start looking into salvation and the Bible and see what it means to be saved. I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, there you go. Pumpkin spice smoothie. Yep. Turned out pretty good. And it tastes just kind of like a spiced pumpkin pie. It's amazing. And, um, uh, again, I will tell you, there are times that I've, I've uh, really, I used to really struggle with headaches, very, very much so. And migraines and the whole thing and uh, you know I tried there I remember I tried looking for a while for natural pills natural alternatives you know pills that you can swallow when you get a headache that's not the right solution the right solution is nutrition um, and you will find if you start getting sick be it a cold be it headache um, upset stomach whatever else if you really introduce a lot of uh, nutrition like just really you know something like this pack it with superfoods Put some goji berries in it too, that makes it even healthier. And you'll see that a lot of times it'll knock out the sickness within hours. Something that would have lasted for days or even weeks. And, you know, in the past I would have colds for weeks. Now it's extremely rare I even get a cold if I do. Usually can knock it out within 24 hours with this type of thing. I'm going to be doing another video here in the future on um, superfood applesauce. I'm going to show you real quickly here. And I'm going to be discussing how to make that wild apples from the land that the Lord gave us we have them just chopped up and then we freeze them to retain the nutrients we don't make applesauce the old-fashioned way of cooking the apples and all that and then here we have some wild red raspberries so we combine the two and it's uh, really good I mean you can just feel this pumpkin spice smoothie will actually lift your mood. It really, really is amazing. First time we had it, I mean, it was just, wow. You feel really good after you're done drinking it. So, um, really recommend uh, nutritional health. Uh, it's what is written about in the Bible. Um, the whole thing of modern medicine is just a, one of the big scams out there. So, that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.